from uh, NorCal. Yeah. These young guns are making me feel old. Yeah, I mean, I like it, though. I like that there's so many young players that are already playing at a top level. It really shows that uh, Smash as a whole is just continuing to raise the elevation of a uh, competition. And it looks like we're coming into a new match. We got T versus uh, Strife. Strife, okay. Can't say I uh, recognize Strife, but a lot of people know T for his incredible Pac-Man. One of the best solo Pac-Man players uh, in the world, really. So uh, I hope this guy knows the Pac-Man matchup, because if he don't, this guy's going to have a really good time. <laughs> He's got a Mario, so that's a good first step so far. Uh, Trampoline's gonna be coming up. Game one, T versus Stripe here at 2GG Prime Saga. And they're opening up on Battlefield. You know, uh, seems pretty soft. Oh, maybe a button check? Oh, Either the most advanced check. neutral I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, with Pac Man sometimes, is he hardly approaches. <laughs> yeah. It might be. <laughs> it could be a match. Yeah, T exercising great patience in this button check. Just holding it down, you know. Shout out to Strife, just playing off stage fearlessly. Oh, and SD. Uh, okay, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. All right, they had their button checking. Yeah. I know uh, Mario can combo Pac-Man really well, but getting in on him with like the hydrant and all the fruit and just how tricky he is in general, that's the real struggle when you're fighting Pac-Man. Yeah. I think the other struggle is, you know, if this game is a test uh, fear, ignorance, and greed, ignorance tends to come into play <laughs> oh, against yes. uh, Pac-Man. Sometimes you don't really know what's going on. Mario's a little more straightforward. You kind of know what's going to happen, what they're going to go for. But Pac-Man's a whole other element sometimes. Yeah, with there being so many characters in this game, matchups are more important than ever. But okay, he actually just said, "I'm Cloud Strife for." I'm Cloud oh, Strife. okay. I, I, I'm, seeing the, <laughs> I'm seeing the name relevance now. All right. Well, this character also is uh, more straightforward than uh, the Pac-Man yeah. is a little bit. So Strife giving us the the juke, Ooh. but he's going in with uh, Cloud, and I think he's gone? dead. Oh bye my bye. God. <laughs> Oh my god, T! So let, me, let me tell you about that new forward air from Pac-Man. With the less uh, landing lag on that move, he can use just carry you off stage. And your character like Cloud with no limit or double jump, that's one of the easiest ways to get to stock. <laughs> yeah, they, that could not have gone worse for Strife at the beginning. He does have limit now, so he could try to make a little bit of run out of it. But T is so smart, he's just baiting him right there. Yeah. You saw the trampoline was out, he's just baiting him, trying to get him to go off stage. Oh, these Z drop setups, I love it. But, like, honestly, even without the setups, he's just playing really well in neutral without relying on his projectiles that much. Yeah, he's going in, carrying him off of fair, and just doing damage, and he's already got, he's lapped him in percentage on the second stock, and has oh. a off stage, almost got the key. Yeah, he hit him out of his jump to set that up, but wow, the raw hydrant itself is going to take the stock. T, man, really strong start right now. Yeah, it's kinda looks, stuck. It kind of looks like Stripe's a little uncomfortable, for sure. <laughs> kind of what we expected, no. though. Not, you know, that player that is comfortable in the Pac-Man match is... They know something about the universe that we know, yeah. for sure. Yeah, Pac-Man is such a wacky character in general, and then you're going up against one of the best Pac-Mans in the world. It's, hmm. uh, by the time you figure out one of his tricks, he already has, like, five more ready for you. <laughs> And Pac-Man as a character really just kind of defies conventional Smash wisdom. You always want to like try to juggle your opponents, but you have to be conscious of Hydrant coming down. You have, you know, he just floats around off stage, no problem. It is always just a riddle. Mine's gonna hang behind the Hydrant here, gets the key in place. Another tech chase with the fruit as well. T man, he's so good at being patient with his aerials. Like he'll jump in their face, see if you do a defensive option, and then he'll swing. Yeah, he's oh, trying he to get that back here, trying to prevent a three stock, but T holding on. Oh, good limit, no oh, tech. Oh, not gonna be able to tech that one. That probably wasn't detectable there with how much yeah. percent he was at. Yeah, saw the oh. red flash definitely. And speaking of no teching, yeah, there's no you're stunning that move. Wow. <laughs> Immediately comes back from the respawn platform. They'll end up for smash with the JV2 stock. T looking just as strong as you would expect. Yeah. And Strife, the unfortunate victim of that onslaught. And it wasn't like the traditional Pac-Man onslaught. You could kind of wait for Pac-Man to hang back and throw stuff. T just oh. went in from the yeah, go. Exactly. 
That's just a thing that uh, Pac-Man's able to go for a lot more in this game, just because his arrows are so much uh, faster and have less. Yeah. Like he can safely just go in and pressure you, not just necessarily force you to approach with uh, projectiles all the time. All right, so we got a character switch from Strife, um, and it's Krom. You know, same archetype of character as Cloud, but a little nuance differences. I wonder what kind of uh, changes he's, ex he's expecting to come, you know, from this character switch. Doing better so far. Actually, has a little bit of a lead. Yeah, good stuff with the side beat. Uh, he is going to want to be able to, like, space his jab so he can uh, catch the jumps. And then he can go from there, like, jab, nair, jab, fair. But this anti-air game coming out from T is so strong. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, already yeah. it looks like Stripe is doing a little bit better controlling the pace of the matchup. Oh, oh he went oh, so deep! Oh, and then T removed the hydrant from the, the ledge just in case he would land on the trampoline and come back. Yeah, very I smart play. Uh, I thought he was going to get the hydrant. I didn't know oh. what happened. Is that it again? That fair? Yeah, he just waited out the jump and forward aired him just like that. His stock is gone in the blink of an eye, man. Picking a carry with explosive recovery versus T just seems so hard. <laughs> He's so good at just catching you when you use your uh, resources. And it's the blink of an eye, the game's pretty much over at that point. Uh, not a lot of time left for Stripe to make any adjustments. But he is Krom, so I've seen uh, stranger things happen. Krom was so much pop. And he tried to spot dodge that grab, but it lasted oh. forever. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. The, <laughs> did the Hydrant mess up his upbeat hitbox? I don't, I don't know, know exactly what happened there. Like, Tia looks like he had so many options covered, but... Uh, I don't know, that was just really, really <laughs> dominating this play. Honestly, rough comeback yeah. to make when you lose your second stock in like less than 10 seconds almost. Yeah, Stripe just kind of laughing it off, taking it in good spirits. Sometimes you just gotta throw your hands off the controller and be like, what just happened? <laughs> yeah, honestly, uh, I would take it as a learning experience because you kind of got the best person you can get if you want to get better at the Pac-Man matchup or not sure what to do. He's literally the, one of the best Pac-Mans in general.